In Creo Parametric, be aware that you can pattern a pattern. For example, let's select this feature, and from the mini toolbar, I will choose to create a pattern. And instead of doing a dimension pattern, if I hold down the right mouse button, I can use the mini toolbar to change this to an axis pattern, and then pick the axis going down the center of the cylinder. And let's say I want to create six instances around 360 degrees. I'm happy with that, so I can hit the check mark. And with the pattern still selected, I can hold down the right mouse button and choose to pattern again. And this time, I might do a direction pattern, and then pick this axis and choose my spacing, and change the number of instances, and then hit the check mark or middle mouse button, and I have my pattern of a pattern. Let me turn off my axis display for a moment. And if you saw my video on direction patterns, you might be aware that you could actually do this with a single direction pattern. And before I show that, let me expand the model tree. Here you can see I have a pattern of patterns, and I can expand the pattern. If I select this pattern and then right mouse click and hold, and then choose delete pattern, I still have my original axis pattern in here, so I can right click again and then choose delete pattern. Now I'm back to my original instance. Let me turn on my axis display. I will select the feature and I'm going to choose to pattern it. And this time, instead of doing a dimension pattern, I can go to the drop down list and choose direction pattern. And instead of translating, I can go to the drop down list and select rotation, pick the axis, and specify my angular spacing, and then the total number of instances. And there is my first pattern. One thing I want to note about doing all of this in a single direction pattern is that unlike the axis pattern, uh, you do not have the ability to specify the angular extent. So for example, I'm doing six instances 60 degrees apart. I don't have the ability here to do six instances over 360 degrees. But for the second direction, let's click in the collector, or by the way, you could right mouse click and hold and activate the direction to reference collector. And I will pick the axis again. Let's change our spacing and change the number of instances and then hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. Let's turn off our axis visibility and the net result is the same. Uh, again, here I have a single pattern. You can see all the different instances in here or you could pattern a pattern. Now situations in which you might want to pattern a pattern uh, using the pattern of pattern functionality is if you're doing something that doesn't lend itself to a single direction pattern. For example, if you wanted to pattern a fill pattern or a curve pattern. Let's take a look at a second example. And again, let's turn on our axis visibility. And I'm going to pattern a pattern again. Let's select this extrude and then click the pattern button. And I'm going to use the right mouse button to change this to an axis pattern. And pick the axis I want to pattern about. Let's choose to create six instances over 360 degrees. So here's my first pattern. And again, with the pattern still selected, I can use the right mouse button to get to the mini toolbar and pattern this again. And for the second pattern, I'm going to choose to do a direction pattern and pick this surface over here. Let's drag the spacing in the other direction, change the value, and change the number of instances. And again, I haven't shown anything new at this point. This is just set up for what I want to show next. So I've got a pattern of a pattern. And let's say that I decide that I need a fillet on the edges. And I am deliberately selecting the first instance from the first pattern. If you're unsure which one that is, you can expand the model tree and then select it and say, okay, there is the original feature. And now I will select an edge on that feature. And from the mini toolbar, I'm gonna to choose to create a fillet and a value of two is fine. Let's hit the middle mouse button. You're probably aware that you can create reference patterns in Creo Parametric. In other words, if you place 
a new feature on top of an instance of a pattern, you can reference pattern that feature onto all the instances of the pattern. But if you have a patterned pattern, there is a little nuance. So with my new round feature still selected, I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button and get to the pattern command. And it recognizes that I have selected a feature that's located on an instance of a pattern and it automatically changes the pattern type to reference pattern and all the other different pattern types are grayed out because it's not able to take a round and create more instances of that feature in any of the other different methods. But we now have this drop down list to control where those new rounds are going to end up. And the first option is feature. In other words, if I hit the check mark, it's going to end up creating that pattern of rounds on the original axis pattern. Let's edit definition of the round pattern. And instead, if I choose group, it's going to create that reference pattern on each group of features. So if I hit the check mark, then we're only going to get the fillet on the lead feature of each patterned pattern. Let's edit definition one more time. And if I choose both, then it's going to end up creating the pattern on the instances of the original and the patterned pattern. And let's hit the check mark. And so there you can see I have, looks like, doing the math real quick, 18 instances of the round created. And as always, you can edit definition. And if you decide that, hey, you know what, for a few of these, I don't want to generate fillets on them, you can click on the preview dots to disable those particular instances. And that way, we only have the pattern being created on some of them. But again, you can always, oops, let me select the pattern. You can always edit definition and then click on the preview dots again to get those particular instances back. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.